Okay, hey guys, it's Klaus. Look at this. Look at this. The T62A Tier 10 Russian Medium Tank. Why would you drive anything but a Russian Medium Tank? And we're going to watch the effing Drake. I'm pretty sure he wanted his name to be the fucking Drake, but they wouldn't let him use that. So he's the effing Drake. Drive this beast. The effing Drake. Yeah, you gotta love the Drake. I love the Drake. Love the Drake. Oh, yeah. The effing Drake. The effing Drake is gonna drive the T62A. Gotta love the Drake. Haha. <laughs> why would you drive anything but a Russian medium tank? Like, why the fuck would you play anything else? You know, I've been telling you guys that Russian medium tanks are the best tanks in the game. They're overpowered. They're better than anything, right? They have no weaknesses. Uh, they're the fastest. They have the best camo. Well, okay, they're not the fastest, but they're as fast as the fastest. They're the most maneuverable. They have the best camo. They have the best turrets. They have the best armor. They have the best RNG. They have the best guns. That's right, they have the best guns. Their guns, even though they don't have the best accuracy and all the stats, they have the best soft stats so they can just, without aiming, just shoot and they will hit almost all the time, even though all the guns in the game that are really accurate, when you, when you just shoot, you miss all the time. That's just the way it works. And if you don't understand that about this game, you will never, ever be good at this game. So fuck you if you don't believe me. Let's watch the effing Drake kick everyone's ass here in his T-62A. And you guys watch this and, and look at some of the shots he takes. Uh, you know, with his tank moving, his turret moving, uh, you know, wiggling around uh, like a maniac because he's a good player. He's never sitting still. And you don't have to in a T-62A because you don't have to aim. You just have to, you know, point in the general direction of the enemy. Press the trigger, and usually you will hit. There. Having said all that, let's just sit back and enjoy this game. Uh, oh, oh yeah, and did I mention also that they're the most maneuverable, and they have the best uh, terrain stats in the game. Did I mention that? I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Did I mention that you don't really have to aim, you just have to point the gun in the general direction of the enemy, and you will hit them? Did I mention that? Yeah, I think I mentioned that. All right. Come on, the effing Drake! Get out of the Drake! Is retreating. He's moved up there and he's done some damage. But he's looking at the minimap and he sees that the whole east side in the town has lost. So why the hell would he just stick around there and get killed? He's moving into a better, better spot to continue to shoot the enemies. Right? If he just stayed there, you see all those red dots that moved up the east side and took the city? He would eventually be surrounded. And then he would be killed after doing about 2,000 damage, right? And then you wouldn't be watching this because it would just be an average, uh, typical game for a useless scrub player. You know, the useless scrub player that gets surrounded. He does 2,000 damage and then he gets surrounded and dies and then starts raging in the chat. You idiots! You lost the city! Uh, assholes! Uninstall! Why the hell are you guys playing? You suck! Right? Complaining. My team lost! Right? No, he's not doing that. He's, he's looking at the minimap and he said, you know what, we fucking lost the city, I better move. And now guys, like, are you watching this gun? Um, it shoot. oh, did I mention that it shoots faster uh, than all the other uh, types of tanks as well? The Russian medium tanks, they shoot faster. Did I mention that? The only uh, weakness is when you start shooting another Russian tank, there's an IS-7. Uh, so the only re weakness of a Russian medium tank is when it has to shoot a Russian heavy tank. That's the weakness. You see? When you start shooting a Russian one, you know, it, it starts getting a little tricky. <laughs> so then you press 2. <laughs> oh no, he's still shooting, you know, he's shooting APCR and he's got this guy tracked. Finally, finally. Now it shoots faster, it's more accurate, and blah blah blah, what the fuck, I mean, and uh, you notice it's a medium tank, but it has camo just as good as any light tank. So when you're still in the bushes like this, it doesn't fucking matter that you're not a light tank because you're in a Russian medium tank. So you can just shoot over and over and over. Blah, blah, blah. You try and do this in any other tank, you will get spotted. Wow, no, I'm just kidding. Look at the view range circles on the map. You see all these enemies are outside the white circle. You see that? Look at the mini map. This is important. Look. 
His guys have these guys, these red guys lit. The red guys are outside his white circle. Did you notice that? So he didn't even need the bushes. The guys he was shooting could not see him. So, you know, sometimes I actually got to give you guys some information so you learn something, right? See that guy, the red dot? See the red dot on the minimap? It is outside his white circle. So he can shoot now. Watch, watch, watch. He can shoot these guys. See, he's shooting. Guys behind the house. But they are outside his white circle. Important, because they do not see him. So they're screwed, right? They're trying to fight the guys that are right in front of them. This is called support fire. This is not camping. This is uh, using your knagen, your brain, right? Huh? Huh? Did you learn something? But now, all of his buddies are dead because the guys that were in the middle there, you know, bless their hearts, uh, they weren't too smart, you see. <laughs> okay. Did you just... All right, all right. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to rewind that. Hold on, I'm going to play that again. Okay, okay, watch this. I mean, look at this shot. This is a Russian medium day. He gets spotted, he backs up, just point the gun at... And he hits him. Like... <laughs> Fuck you, okay? Any other tank, not a fucking hope in hell that he hits that shot. It has nothing to do with the accuracy stats, you know, the .35. This gun is not as accurate as any of the medium tanks. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, the aim time. It has nothing to do with anything. It has to do with uh, something called a soft stat. Look at that, just, you know, snap, snap. It's called the Russian number generator. It says uh, if you're playing a Russian medium tank, you will hit without aiming or doing anything. And if you play anything else, you can just go fuck yourself. And if you don't believe me, you will never, ever understand this game. Okay, never. You will never understand. Uh, if you don't know that an IS-7, right, uh, an IS-7 Russian tier 10 medium tank has better soft stats than a Leopard, uh, the sniper tank, the tier 10 uh, German uh, medium sniper tank. If you do not know that or do not believe that, then uh, there's nothing I can do to help you <laughs> understand anything. But uh, yeah, I, as I was saying, as he snipes the cupola of this guy over here, yeah, those guys in the middle, when they were spotting and uh, he was shooting and the enemies were outside his white circle, if they were smart players, they would know, look, our teammate back there who is uh, quote unquote camping is getting all these shots. We should try not to engage, just keep the enemies lit, right? No, but they wanted to do damage themselves and they died. That's what I was trying to say before I got distracted with all this Russian bias bullshit. I mean, look at these shots. What the fuck is this even about? Like uh, that one, I don't understand, but I mean, just, you know, like just, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. But this guy is a good player. That's uh, probably what I don't get. Maybe he's, uh, He's just so good that we don't understand really what's going on. <laughs> but I mean, poking over the ridge line, just uh, pointing the gun there, uh, take a shot, boom, right into the cupola, pen, done. You know, it's Russian, what the fuck. Let's just watch and enjoy. Here he goes, what is he doing now? He's putting some distance between those enemies and himself. Now his whole team, they're, they're just in this corner here, they're stuck. Uh, they've basically retreated as far as they could go and they are surrounded now they've got horrible map position but he oh and one of his guy one of his buddies is dead so now he's just checking around here he's got a okay who's this guy you know just oh he missed he missed a shot and he spotted but he's just gonna poke out this time and uh, he oh he bounced the shot who is that is that one of those invisible pieces of shit that I can't stand, those, uh, uh, those, uh, those Swedish tank destroyers. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep, oh, it's only two now. Two. Him and one other guy. And, uh, oh, it's a Russian tank. It's the tier nine medium tank. So the two Russian tanks survived. Surprise! <laughs> I mean, in the hands of a skilled player, and I'm not saying that if you go buy a T-62A, or any Russian tier 10 medium tank that you're gonna have games like this because let's face it, most of you suck and you won't know what to do and, and then you'll, you know, you'll die anyway and you'll say, oh, Klaus was, was lying, they're not overpowered, they're, they're not really that good, you know. I like my Panther, it just is good. You know, some of you will say that, 
because you suck, right? But if, if you don't suck, if you know what you're doing, and uh, just, just watch, okay? If you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Boom. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to aim. You know, super heavy, coconut, capola. Ba bing! Ba boom! Shoot! You know, pend! The, there's a two pixel weak spot on the center of the capola on top of the super heavy. Just poke out, snap it! Snapshot it! You gotta love the Drake. Gotta love the Drake! Love the Drake! You gotta love him! And, oh, he's, he's playing. He's fighting against another guy who has some skill here. Now, okay, there is one weakness. There is one true weakness that I did not go over yet about the Russian medium tanks. Okay, there's one weakness. There's one true weakness. Let's just watch this first. Oh, ho, ho, and he can outmaneuver this guy's turret. And because he reloads faster than any other medium tank, he can take him out even though he missed the first shot. Oh yeah. More proof. You want more proof? Now what was I saying? There is really only one weakness that the Russian media... Let's go over it again. They are the most maneuverable. They have the best traverse speed, right? Uh, the best turret traverse, right? They're almost as fast or just as fast as most other tanks. They have the strongest turrets. They have the strongest hull armor, side armor, and rear armor, despite what the stats say. You know, they bounce everything. The tracks absorb shots. They shoot the fastest, right? They have the best uh, pen when you press number two, 330 heat, right, for medium tanks. Uh, uh, they have the best soft stats. Their guns shoot the fastest. You don't have to aim. You can just shoot over and over and over and hit all the weak spots. And they have the best camo, so you won't get spotted. Uh, but there is one weakness that they do have. And that is that they don't carry a lot of ammunition. They don't have as much uh, ammo as a panther. You know, that pan if you were in a panther now, you'd still have 40 or 50 shots. Of course, you'd probably be dead. But if you were in a panther and you survived this long, you'd still have 40 or 50 shots. But the T-62A, he's down to two. He's got two shots left. And there's two enemies left. And where is that piece of shit, Swedish hunk of shit? There, there he is. And can he get him? Let's watch. There he is. Yes, he's got him. Eight kills. Gotta love the Drake. I love the Drake. Love the Drake. And oh boy, he's got one shot left. And the artillery, the bat chat, has taken two shots. And where the hell did the shots come from? Does he, does he know where the shots came from? Oh, yeah. The Russian medium tank. Why the hell would you drive anything else? Now, you know, one of you guys suggested in the comments recently that I should have, like, uh, an interlude in the middle. And this is a pretty exciting game. But he's while he's looking for this... Uh, for this... Uh, you guys want me to put an interlude in here? <laughs> Should I put a, you know, one and a half minute Bollywood intro, intro interlude? I can't do it. Come on. Come on. Should I do it? Uh, if I did it, you know, it, I, out of respect for the effing Drake, out of respect, man, because of what we have just witnessed here so far, I cannot do it. I was going to do it. And I was going to roll a one and a half minute Bollywood intro. Right about now, in the middle of the game, just to mess with you guys. But, th I mean, this is too good a game, right? We can't do it. We can't do it. we got to actually watch. Now, where's that artillery? He's checked there. He's not there. Now, what would you do in this situation? You know what I would do? He's got one shot, right? So he cannot kill that artillery. So, I mean, for the sake of the win, I would probably cap... And then if the artillery showed himself, because the artillery has to show himself basically to shoot, to spot you, then I would shoot him and, and then, you know, run away and maybe ram him or do something, right? Oh, but you know what? He does not have enough time. Oh, that's not a good strategy. There's only 50 seconds left. So he cannot cap. So yeah, I'm wrong. He's right. He has to find the artillery. Did he poke over that hill there, that ridgeline? 
He's, you know what? He's banking on the artillery. The, the bat chat who's fast actually knows that P stands for propelled. He's propelled himself somewhere. And he's going to look for him. Can he do it? Can he do it? He's got one shot. He's got to shoot him and then ram him. This is the only weakness of the Russian medium tanks. They just don't have enough ammo to kill everybody. You got your team has to do something because you've only got 50 shots and he's shot. He's already shot 49. He's got one shot left. And, and there's the artillery. There's the artillery. He shoots him. Yes, he shoots him. The artillery shoots him. But it doesn't matter. He's in a Russian medium. He wraps him and he does not kill him. And it's a draw. And he did 8,000 damage. And he lost some credits.